It was July one, nineteen forty. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge opened to public fanfare in Washington State, nicknamed Galping Gertie during construction. The suspension bridge stretched gracefully across Puget Sound, at over five thousand nine hundred feet long. It was the third longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. Leak. Elegant, and a testament to modern engineering, but almost immediately something felt off. The bridge swayed in the wind, bounced beneath drivers, and even rippled like a wave. At first, it was quirky, amusing, even. No one imagined it was a ticking time bomb. What engineers missed was the invisible enemy. Aeroastic flutter as wind swept through the narrow structure. It didn't just push the bridge; it started to resonate with it, like pushing a child on a swing at just the right intervals. The wind matched the bridge's natural frequency. More movements turned into violent twists. The suspension cables amplified the motion instead of dampening it. But at the time, the concept of wind-induced resonance wasn't fully understood. The warning signs were there, ignored or underestimated, and nature was about to deliver a brutal lesson. On the morning of November seventh, nineteen forty, just four months after opening, the winds howled across Puget Sound. Gusts reached only forty miles per hour, not even extreme by storm standards, but it was enough. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge began oscillating uncontrollably, twisting side to side like a ribbon in a breeze. Eyewitnesses stood helplessly nearby as the roadbed buckled, cables snapped, and massive steel segments tore apart. A newspaper editor caught the entire collapse on film, creating one of the most iconic videos in engineering history. Within minutes, the bridge plunged into the water, gone. Miraculously, there were no human fatalities. The only casualty, a dog named Tubby, trapped in a car. A professor named Leonard Coatsworth had been driving the car and barely escaped with his life. He crawled, wind-whipped and terrified, across a violently shaking bridge. His story, and the footage of the twisting roadway, became symbolic of a larger truth. Even our most advanced creations can fail spectacularly when nature finds the cracks in our understanding. The collapse of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge triggered a seismic shift in how engineers approached aerodynamics. Before this, bridges were designed primarily for strength and load bearing, not for how air moved around them. Engineers now began factoring in fluid dynamics, wind tunnels, and torsional stress. The disaster became a textbook case. In every civil engineering curriculum, a reminder that elegance can't come at the cost of stability. It also led to the development of new disciplines, like aeroelasticity. It fundamentally altered the way we build everything, from skyscrapers to airplanes. In 1950, a new Tacoma. Narrows Bridge opened. This time, with a bulkier design, wind-resistant trusses, backstop, and aerodynamic considerations baked into every inch, it still stands today, silent but steady. As for the original, it remains on the sea floor below, a monument to overconfidence. An under-tested design. The original footage of its collapse is still played in classrooms, documentaries, 
and YouTube compilations reminding us all. Nature doesn't care about blueprints. Only good science can hold the line between stability and destruction. One bridge, one windstorm, and one unforgettable failure. If you are loving these stories of science gone sideways, make sure to subscribe. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't miss a collapse.